I'm a friend to say you don't hear from breaking down barriers in language learning who is following me on my channel knows that I'm posting a lot of videos uh, about uh, the lesson teach yourself Spanish uh, today I will continue talking about the lesson 3 and in Spanish here I learned Spanish by using this book and I I, I thought it's useful and because of that I'm providing a lot of lessons here the lessons today is lesson 3 more about yourself más sobre usted, usted mismo in this unit, we will learn to say where you live and work, to ask others what they do and where they do it, to give your addresses, numbers. Lechura, listen or read uh, the following passage about Pacos and Isabel. Keywords are given in the vocabulary box, but you should be able to guess the meaning of the words for Pacos and Isabel's jobs. Paco vive y trabaja en Madrid. Isabel vive y trabaja en Madrid también. Paco trabaja con arquitecto, como arquitecto en una oficina de la calle Goya. Isabel trabaja como administradora en la oficina de Iberia, líneas aéreas de España, en la calle María de Molina. Paco trabaja en la calle Goya, pero vive en la calle Meléndez Valdez, en un apartamento. Isabel vive con la familia en el piso de la calle Almagro. El apartamento de Paco es pequeño, pero el piso de la familia de Isabel es muy grande. Here we have vocabulary. Uh, I'm going to introduce uh, some words about, about the text here in Spanish and in English. Like uh, lives, vive, and works y trabaja in en, as, como, an office, una oficina, the street, la calle, with, con, la, the family, la familia, a flat, un piso, a small flat, an apartment, small, pequeño, but, pero, very, muy, big, large, grande, actividades, Read into the following statement, choose verdad, true, or false, falso. Isabel vive en Madrid, verdad. Paco vive con la familia de Isabel, falso. Isabel trabaja en un colegio, falso. Paco trabaja como profesor, um, falso. La oficina de Paco está en Goya. Verdad. Paco vive en la calle Meléndez Valdez. Verdad. Answer the question. ¿Dónde trabaja Paco? Paco trabaja como arquitecto en una oficina de calle Goya. ¿Dónde vive Paco? Paco vive en Madrid. ¿Dónde vive Isabel? Isabel vive en Madrid también. ¿Vive Isabel en la calle Goya? No, Isabel vive en la calle Almagro. ¿Quién, um, ¿quién vive en la calle Meléndez Valdez? Paco vive en la calle Meléndez Valdez. ¿Quién trabaja en María de Molina? Uh, Isabel trabaja en María de Molina. ¿Trabaja Paco como administrador? No, Paco trabaja como arquitecto. ¿De quién es la oficina en María de Molina? La oficina es de Iberia, línea aéreas. Language point. How to say the, el, la, los, las. In unit 2, you found that were our two Spanish words for a and en, un, and una. Used according to the gender of the word uh, to which they are attacked. Spanish also has more than one word for the te, el. Is using with masculine words and la with family words. So we have el apartamento, el piso, el arquitecto, el señor, la oficina, la familia, la señora y la calle. Not all family words and in a. When the precedes plural word, two new forms are needed. El becomes los and la becomes las. So we have uh, 
los apartamentos, los pisos, los arquitectos, los señores, las oficinas, las familias, las señoras, las calles. As you remember from Unit 1, when you are talking about a person by their name and title, you need to use the finite article, el, la, los, or las. For example, Mr. Mendes doesn't understand German. El señor Mendes no entiende alemán. Mrs. Cajera is from a tree. La señora Cajera es madrileña. Mr. and Mrs. Alba are from Sevilla. Los señores uh, Alba son sevillanos. However, when you're talking to a person face to face, the definite article is not needed unless you are asking them who they are. Señor Mendes, habla inglés. Buenos días, señora Cajera. Son los señores Alba. Actividad. Fill in the blanks with el, la, los, or las. Los apartamentos son generalmente pequeños. ¿Dónde trabaja el arquitecto? Isabel vive con la familia. ¿Dónde están los, las oficinas de Isabel Paco? Los señores Méndez son españoles. Paco vive, Paco vive en la calle Meléndez uh, Valles. Lo pisos, lo pi, el piso donde vive Isabel es muy grande, el piso. Language point. ¿Qué hace? What do you do? There are two easy ways of asking what you work some does. One way is to ask, ¿qué hace? What do you do? Many, to, many of the replies may sound similar to English, but in Spanish, most of them have masculine or feminine form. Here are a few examples of what person might say, uh, might say when you ask them, ¿qué hace? Masculine or feminine. Soy actor. Soy profesor, soy administrador, soy camarero, soy director de empresa, soy enfermero. Some words of occupations are the same whether they refer to a man or a woman. This include those ending in ista or a, such as un una taxista, drive a tax driver, un un artista, an artist, un una periodista, a journalist, un una contable. An accountant, un, un intérprete, an interpreter, un, un estudiante, a student. The other way to ask about a person's job is to say, ¿Dónde trabaja? Where do you work? Here are various possible answers to these questions. I work in an office. Trabaja en la office, in una oficina. I work in a tourist office agency. Trabaja en una agencia de turismo. I work in a school. Trabaja en un colegio. I work in a hospital. Trabajo en un hospital. I work at home. Trabajo en casa. Note that donde and que are two more examples of words that need us accents when they are used to ask questions. Actividad. Math. Match. Match each of the following professionals. On the left, with, which we have one of the places of work on the right, some places will be used for more than one answer. As profesor. Trabaja en un colegio. Soy administradora. Trabaja en una oficina. Soy enfermera. Trabaja en un hospital. Es arquitecto. Trabaja en una oficina. Es actriz. Trabaja en un teatro. Soy camarero. Trabaja en un café. Let me see this lesson here. Diálogo. Paco and Isabel are being asked to be the Ricardo, where they live and work. Listen to or read the dialogue twice before studying the rest of a unit to see how to talk about where you live. ¿Dónde vive Isabel? Vive en Madrid, en la calle El Magro. ¿Y dónde trabaja? Trabaja en la calle María de Molina. Y Paco, vive en Madrid también. ¿Dónde, dónde en Madrid? En calle Meléndez Valdez, número 530. D. ¿Y trabaja en Madrid? Sí, trabaja en la calle Goya. Language point. I work, I live. Trabajo en vivo. Mean I work and I live. When you want to say I do something, you will find that the word almost well, always in, in O. As several examples you already know. Hablo, me llamo, entiendo. 
There are very small numbers of expressions to do this rule of, which is the word for I am, soy, numbers, numeros, cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, dez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. Learn this trophically, pass them not only in order but at all round on to help you remember them. Donde vive? Where do you live? Depending on the context, you might need to give only a vague reply such as vivo in Madrid or vivo in Londres or some occasions, however, you might need to give your address. And for visiting Spanish friends or plays, we will certainly need to understand uh, when someone tells you you're theirs. Here is a typical address, La Dirección. La Dirección de Isabel S. Notice you don't need to use the word calle. Although other words such as avenida, plaza, paseo are usually not omitted. The figure 6 and stands for sexto A. And six four flat A. Dos ocho zero diez is the code for Madrid. A vinte ocho in the district. Yes. Here is Paco address. Paco is short for Francisco. Actividad. Ask Paco. Ask Paco where he lives. What will he answer? Uh, ask Isabel where she works. Uh, tell Paco you also live in a small apartment. Um, tell Isabel you also work in the office. Tell her do you, do you don't speak Spanish very well yet. Give her nationality and say what language you speak. Paco where he lives. Donde él vive. Where she works. Donde ella trabaja. Paco. Uh, tell Paco you also live in a small apartment. Paco vive in un apartamento pequeño. Tell Isabel you also work in the office. Isabel trabaja en una oficina. Tell her you don't speak Spanish very well yet. No, hablo español muy bien todavía. Give her nationality and say what language you speak. Uh, soy brasileño. Uh, vivo en Brasil. Eh, también hablo portugués, inglés, español y francés. You will have noticed two things about the names in this unit. The first is that Isabel and Paco have two surnames, and Spaniards do they take the first their father's name, two names, and the first of their mothers. In any case, Spanish women keep their own names on marriage and take their husband when being spoken of jointly as in Los Señores Mendes. If you only want to use one surname, which you normally do for informal use, it must be the first. San Francisco who is Goleo is Paco Ruiz to his friends. Two other thing you may have noted is the use of Don. Using it in a formal situation with the forename, never with the surname only. For married, Women use it Donna. The wife's surname happens to the Senora Dona Aurora Lozana Bonete. No mention of Sir Mendes at all. However, Donna is not using with the names of unmarried women. There is more on this unit. This activity self evaluation. Can you do the following? Count back, back war, words from um, 20 to Zero. Uh, zero, one, dos, uh, zero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, finte. Say where Paco lives. Donde vive Paco? Ask 
Isabel what she does and where she works. ¿Qué haces, Isabel? ¿Dónde trabaja? Say that you are a company director. Uh, soy director de la empresa. Say where you live and where you work. ¿Dónde vive y dónde trabaja? And documento número 3. Pisos a estrenar. Próximo aeropuerto. Cuatro dormitorios, dos baños, cocina amueblada, plaza de garaje, directamente de propiedad, teléfono a 533-1404, horas a oficina. So many flats are for sale near the airport. How many bedrooms do they have? Um, bedrooms, special bedrooms. Um, cuatro dormitorios. Where can you keep your car? Plaza de garaje. What time you can phone the agents? Telefono. 533-1404. This is, this is what it was. The lesson about teach yourself Spanish, lesson three. Thanks a lot. I hope you guys uh, see the next uh, next lesson for here. Thanks a lot.